Well, hello everyone, and it's nice to be back. And I would like to take this moment just to thank pastors Matthew and Philip for filling in while I was away. Thank you very much. But it is nice to be back and to be joining together in a time of prayer. Colossians chapter 4, verse 2 says, Devote yourself to prayer being watchful and thankful. So folks, we need, we need to, prayer is so important. It's absolutely essential for the health of a believer individually and corporately as the body of Christ mm -hmm. to, to, to be a people that pray, mm -hmm. that devote themselves to prayer. And as and to be, to be watchful, to be alert, to be aware of what is going on, and to be thankful that God hears and answers our prayers. Amen. And so we've got some prayer requests today, and we're going to take them to the Lord. And so, Pastor Philip, if yeah. you will do that. For sure. Uh, Lord, we lift up Jasper Pentecostal Church. Yes. They are searching for a new pastor. And mm -hmm. God, may you provide the right person. Yes. May the calling be so clear. And may it work so smoothly. Uh, and Lord, we think of Ed, who's uh, suffering from a blocked esophagus. God, he needs healing. May you provide the yes. healing. And thank you Amen. for the healing. You, and Lord, we think of Jane, who's also in the hospital. But she... Was her surgery was on this past weekend, and Lord, thank you yes. that it happened. And Lord, we ask for a recovery. Yes. And Lord, may she be back in full step. Uh, and Lord, we pray for Vicky, who's a sister of Brian, who has cancer and in the muscle surrounding her bladder, and will be starting three to twenty-one day cycles of chemotherapy. Lord, we pray for healing, and we thank you for healing. Lord, may you sustain her in that time and give her comfort and with her family too. Lord, we think of Elaine who had a PET scan and Lord, we pray that the results were good. We pray that she would be healed from her cancer in Jesus' name. And Lord, we think of those first responders and who helped people evacuate from fires. And we pray for those who've lost their homes or properties. Lord, we, we pray for a restitution. We pray for a rebuilding. And yes. we pray that your provision would just pour and that they would seek you and feel you and feel your love in this time. And Lord, we think of Jasper itself. And Lord, we pray that it would be rebuilt in your name, that it would... Yes. That it would, the fire would be like a cleansing and that it people would not be in a midst, in a mist of shadow and despair, but they would see light on the other side. Amen. And Lord, we think of uh, Shirley who mentioned uh, her, her co-worker who suddenly passed away. Lord, we pray comfort for, for Shirley and we also pray for the family of that mm -hmm. co-worker. Um, and Lord, we think of Inez who had a fall and is back in the hospital. Lord, we pray that there would be healing for her Yes, Lord. and that you keep her strong and thank, thank you, you for Jesus. the strong faith she has. And Lord, we, we think of the unspoken requests for others who have serious health issues. Yes, May you answer yes, each God. one in Jesus' yes. name, Amen. in your power. Amen. And God, there's also Kira, who is Leanne's daughter, waiting for a kidney transplant. Mm. She needs her adenoids removed. Lord, we pray that that would be provided, mm -hmm. and that the doctors would have all the wisdom and carefulness. Mm -hmm. And Lord, may you give lots of peace for, for her and for the whole family. Thank you, Jesus. And God, we, we pray victory for an individual who needs victory over a spiritual battle that they're going through. Lord, may you give the victory in Jesus' name. Yes. May it be powerful and settled and done. Mm -hmm. and Lord, for the person who's wanting victory over sin in their life, we ask that that victory would happen in Jesus' name powerfully. In Jesus' name. Amen. And Lord, we think of Elaine, uh, who's a friend of uh, Jen as well, who has had surgeries on her tongue. And she has cancer. And Lord, we pray for a complete healing yes. over the cancer. Amen. Lord, we pray that her tongue would be restored and, and full back Thank to normal. Jesus. Amen. And Lord, we pray for, for Cheryl 
a cousin of Doug who has an aggressive form of cancer. Mm. Lord, we pray for a miracle of yes, healing in Jesus' Amen. name. Lord, a complete one, full one. Yes. And Lord, we think of Julia, who's back on chemo, but was able to go to BC for a short vacation. Thank you for that. Um, but Lord, may there be an end to the chemo. May there be a good report for her MRI and blood work. Uh, Lord, we ask that it would be fully accomplished in your name. And thank you. Amen. And Lord, there's Jolie who needs healing from health problems and that she can find a good family doctor. May you provide the doctor and heal the, her health problems. Yes. May there be stability there. And Lord, may she not be weighed down by any fear, any anxiety. In your name, in Jesus' name. And Lord, we think of Lily, who's the three-year-old granddaughter of Marlene yes. and Gary. Mm. Heal her from her batten disease, Lord. May she be fully recovered. Yes. And may that Thank thing you, break. Jesus. May she be able to grow into a full adulthood and, and live full with full years. Lord, we think of Margaret. Uh, God, thank you that we saw her last Sunday. And yet, Lord, we ask that she would be mm -hmm. fully back to normal, that yes, she would feel Lord. good in her own, in her own steps. Uh, and Lord, we remember Barb with her macular degeneration. We speak an end to Amen. that thank thing Jesus. and that her yes, eyes Lord. would be fully restored in yes, Jesus' name. Lord. And Lord, we remember Ruth, who asks for a continual touch in her body. Lord, may that touch be there, and may you sustain her as she's walking mm -hmm. through this. We, yeah. for whatever reason, you are not removing whatever she's going through. But Lord, thank you that she is trusting in you always. And may she finally experience the end of that. Yes. Um, and Lord, we ask for Phil, who, um, thank you for the strength that he has but lord give him complete and full healing and strength yeah. and energy and lord we remember jan who needs better sleep and a better energy recovery lord restore her yes. in jesus name fix what is wrong in her body Thank and lord you. we pray for uh glenn who needs strength as well in jesus name yeah. and lord healing from his ms Hallelujah. and we praise you that donna is doing better we thank you for a complete recovery from surgery, Lord. We are praying for it. May it happen in Jesus' name. Amen. And Lord, we remember those families who have family members struggling with addictions. God, may you, the addictions break. May the families be at peace. And may glory be to Christ in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, Father, we come before you now. And we lift up the ministries that as a church we support father we thank you for uh, bob and karen and their chaplaincy ministry community chaplaincy ministry in the name of jesus we thank you for all they do we thank you father god for the open doors and the way they work in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Hang on, Matthew. <laughs> All right, let's take that out. <laughs> so, Father, we thank you for Bob and Karen. We thank you, Lord, that you use them in such tremendous ways. And as, cha as community chaplains, Father God, mm -hmm. give them the strength they need each and every day to do that which you've called them to do in Jesus' name. We thank you for Father's House, downtown Edmonton, Pastor Debbie and her team. We thank you, Father God, for the wonderful work they're doing, and the lives they're reaching, changing, transforming with the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Provide strength, protect them, watch over them, and provide their needs. We pray for Rachel as well and her ministry in Africa. Father, we thank you for the report uh, that we heard uh, a couple Sundays ago. And what a work, what a wonderful work it's, that she is doing in Africa. Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you for the ministry that 3L Ministries has in to Chartwell Seniors Home and Love Edmonton Chapel. 
We thank you for that, Father. We just bless you for those ministries. Thank you for the opportunity to minister to those seniors and to so many people at West Edmonton Mall. Bless that ministry as they serve in a very unique place in Jesus' name. We pray for Heimdall Community Church that you will just continue to use this wonderful congregation uh, as they serve you, work for you, do great things for you, Father. They are a wonderful congregation who just are faithful in their service to you. We thank you for Matthew, Matthew uh, P's ministry, Father. We thank you for uh, how you use Matthew. We thank you, Father God, that you provide for him. You meet all of his needs and you open doors for him in his ministry. We thank you for the Nepal Children's Foundation, uh, the work they do, the, uh, working with orphans and young children and and many families that are ministered to through this ministry sleep in heavenly peace meeting very real and practical needs providing bedding and beds for children in the edmonton and greater edmonton area mm -hmm. father we thank you for the shiloh youth branch we thank you for this past summer the ministry they had this summer at their camps mm -hmm. And Father, for each and every young person that attended there, for those who gave their life to Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. Father, we thank you for that and we pray and believe that you will be with these young people. Help them to, to, to be connected with a church. Help them to grow in their faith. Mm -hmm. Father, in Jesus' name. And Father, for Young Life, uh, school starting up, they'll be getting back into the schools, taking the gospel message mm -hmm. into the schools to young people this school year. Be with them, bless them, minister through them and to them in the name of Jesus. As well as for Vanguard College, as school starts up, for those who are, enter who are planning on entering into ministry, and going and taking the training they need to do exactly that. Father, we pray for President Mark, the Board of Directors, all the faculty and staff. Father, we pray that, that this college will be anointed by the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. The power of the Holy Spirit will be over this school mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. And that there will be a sense of the presence of God in every class and chapel service. Bless them, Father, we pray, in the name of Jesus. Father, we also think of the global workers that we support as a church, Jeffrey and Akiko in Japan. Father, we pray mm -hmm. that you would use them in mighty, mighty ways. Mm -hmm. Open doors for them that, Father God, they never even dreamed of. Use them, we pray. We thank you for their faithfulness to you, Father. For Jeremy and Teresa, as they serve in uh, Ethiopia as the African regional directors with the PAOC, Father, thank you for the leadership they're giving. Just guide and direct their steps. Give them wisdom as they need to make decisions, Father, and just uh, give them the strength on a day-to-day -day basis. For Stefan and Barb and their ministry, Father, thank you for what they're doing for you in the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Bless them, Father, we pray in Jesus' name. For Jaron and Cindy in Thailand, having opportunities to get into universities and colleges and, and reaching young adults with the gospel of Jesus Christ. What a tremendous ministry they have. Mm -hmm. Thank you for their con continued faithfulness serving you, Father, in the name of Jesus of Jesus. Well, folks, 2 Corinthians 13 and four, verse 14 says this, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. 
That's our prayer for you. Thank you for joining us. We're glad you did. And if you ever have any needs, anything you would like us to include in our prayer time, please contact the church, email us, phone us, let us know. We will be more than glad to pray for you. So God bless you. Have a wonderful week. And we'll see you next Wednesday. God bless. God bless.